Kia ora whanau. hope you all had a good week. Firstly, I want to start off with an apology. Like, I'm sorry about the delay in getting this newsletter out to you. I've got no excuses. Just really poor management and organisation and prioritisation skills. And um, I've made some time over the weekend so I can settle in and sort everything out so I can get back on task and on schedule as soon as possible. So again, no to hear my apologies. Um, let's get into the review. This week's blog post is called A Mind That Is Stretched By New Experiences Can Never Go Back To Its Old Dimensions. And this was fitting, and I chose this quote because I thought it was appropriate for what happened between Hinetitama and Tane. She couldn't go back to being Hinetitama after what she had experienced and what she had learnt about who her lover was. I also used this quote because I thought it emphasised reinvention and transformation which on one layer is exactly what Hinetitama did. Um, Her name recognises that, because she was born as Hinetitama, the dawn maiden, the dawn of a new era. Um, She had tida tangata within her, from her mother Hineahuone. And um, then she became Hinenui Te Pō after that event. Nui Te Pō, full of darkness, chaos and confusion. And so I think that symbolises that transformation in her and also that part of her healing process. I also made a reference about Ngāti Oho Mairangi who left Hawaii and due to some events on the trip over they found themselves in a whirlpool and they came out of that and arrived to Aotearoa as Te Arawa. So they were forever changed by that event as well. And then also wrapped it up with how I've decided to move back to Aotearoa. I'm loving it, by the way. It is a bit cold, though. Um, But how that symbolised a different part of my journey and maybe some healing that I need to go through as well, rather than changing my name, which is what our Tupuna did. Um, I might consider that, actually, but um, yeah, I'll let you know. (laughs) Kentiri Ofakaro, so please share. Kapaita Matunga Wiki. Have a good weekend.